I don't really know of anyone who doesn't like a good movie. And movies that have solid stories that are told well, shape people and culture in ways we could never have imagined. And yet, the writers who first created those stories hoped beyond hope that their stories would be impactful to others. The problem is a lot of people who want to be screenwriters just think all they have to do is read a book or two and start writing because they've watched movies before. They know what a good one is and really, I mean, how hard can it be? But if you've been trying to figure this craft out, you know it's much harder than you might have originally thought. And all of us, me included, when I was starting out, had a couple of big questions. Where do I start? And it's cousin, how do I start? I mean, I honestly felt a bit lost. I had a book on screenwriting. I wanted to try it out, but then I spent a lot of time I'm floundering and just trying to find my own way. And I don't want that for you. I want you to, wherever you're at right now in your screenwriting journey, to stop floundering and get on some solid ground, to find steady feet, to walk in a straight path and not wander around the wilderness, lost and confused about what you should be focusing on. So we're gonna embark on a crash course journey of doing screenwriting the right way. No more floundering, no more being lost. I'm gonna lay out for you the best path for your screenwriting journey. And it doesn't matter if you wanna write features or TV, video games, or even corporate motivational videos, because there's good money to be made there, by the way. But what I'm gonna lay out for you will work for whichever path you choose, because these are the best practices path or path. This is the best practices path to get you where you wanna be in as efficient a way as possible. And I wish I had time to create fun graphics like in Starship Troopers, but I'll just have to use theirs. We have to start with mindset. No, I'm not talking about the mindset you have when you sit down to write. I'm talking about your mindset as it relates to the entirety of the craft of screenwriting. Because for some reason, it's in the cultural milieu that anyone can be a published author or screenwriter. Anybody can do it, just whatever. You can totally do it. And most of you watching this video grew up in a literate society where I, probably like you, learned to read and write at a young age. And so because we can write words, we think we should be automatically able to write stories, right? But in nearly every other craft, and if you encompass athletes into this discussion, and you should, practically every other craft or athletic endeavor, we expect people to have some natural skill and we expect them to spend time practicing and learning the craft before they get onto the field or in the arena to perform. But not so with writing. I can't play basketball. I mean, I can, but I'm kind of bad at it. And my knees make it nearly impossible to play. The start and stop, I just, I can't do. I'm only six feet tall, so I'm not super tall. I mean, I can play, but not on a professional level. I mean, there is no way I could ever have done that in the entirety of my life. I also love soccer and I'm pretty decent at soccer. I even played in college a little, but I'm not professional caliber. And I knew that way back when. And most of us know this about our abilities with sports or even other crafts. I mean, I can paint a little, I can draw a little, but I'm not an artist like that. I would never consider myself a professional in those arenas. But with writing and anybody just thinks, oh, I can do it. Just pick up a pencil or a keyboard and off you go, write a movie, sell it, make a million dollars. Cause for some reason with writing, people think that anybody can do it, that you don't have to take the time to learn the craft, that you don't have to take the time to devote hours of study and practice. Cause you know how to make words. I mean, it's not like it's sculpting marble or anything. It's so easy, right? I personally love Aaron Sorkin's analogy about this. And he equates people who think they can just start writing with little to no study of the craft. And he equates them with finger painters, but finger painters don't write excellent screenplays. Artists write screenplays. And to be an artist, you have to put in the time and effort of learning and practicing the craft. So wherever you're at right now, wherever you're at in your journey, you have to realize if you aren't willing to put in the time to become an artist, you're just finger painting. Another analogy to consider is that of a soldier. I mean, when people become soldiers, they aren't just thrown onto the battlefield on day one. They start with boot camp where they learn some of the basics. They get specialized training after boot camp and become good in an area they are predisposed for. And they go through simulations and practice battles all before ever stepping foot on the battlefield. And the battlefield is where the true writing takes place. It's there, you're performing, this is when you're doing it. And this is the mindset you have to have if you wanna be a screenwriter. You have to know that it's going to take time. It's going to require practice and that you're going to get better the more time you spend and the more practice you experience. And even then, once you're on the battlefield of the screenplay, each battle, each script is gonna teach you things. You'll learn things you could only learn in writing the script. 
things they can't teach you in a class or a seminar or a book. And this is the trap. Everyone who wants to be a screenwriter wants to see their name on the big screen after the words written by. And that's great. But just jumping in without the right training and focusing on learning the fundamentals and things you need to be focusing on is a lesson in frustration. And candidly, it's the reason why it's so hard to get your stuff read. Not because your stuff is bad, it may not be, but so many people who think all they have to do is pick up a pen or keyboard, bang out a script, and it's the next Academy Award winning film, so they try to send it to industry people who are tired of receiving junk. So they begin to limit how they acquire scripts to read. In other words, because a lot of people think anyone can do it, it actually makes it more difficult for people who are good at the craft to get noticed. So don't be that person. Do it the right way. Approach the craft with the right mindset. And when your stuff is good and ready, you'll be able to get it to people who can do something with it. But first, boot camp. Anytime you think I'm being unfair, anytime you miss your mommy, quit! New Sun from 1248, you grab your gear, you take a stroll down washout lane. Do you get me? Sir, yes, sir! Boot camp is where you jump off the cliff. When you're first deciding about this whole screenwriter thing, you, you kind of toy with it, right? You're just kind of playing. You read a book, you experiment with writing in the format, you're kind of playing at it, right? But then comes a moment when you decide, you know what, I'm gonna do this. And you stop waiting in the pool and you jump in. This is boot camp, and this is where you commit. And you experience a time where you are just soaking up knowledge. You're learning, you're reading, it's consuming you. You're watching everything you can, and you're dreaming up stories. You might be trying to write them to practice a little, but you know they're probably not gonna see the light of day. You don't care. You're just trying to learn. You're soaking it all up, and this is what happens at boot camp. What makes you even think? You're gonna make squad leader Rico. Something I got you don't. Huh, you rich kids are all the same. It isn't about that, it's about who's the best. Hey! <laughs> You're learning two primary categories of things. You're learning the systems, so how does screenwriting work? How do other people do it? Those kinds of things. And you're learning the skills, how to write scenes, how to art characters, how to cultivate a plot, and things like that. And you learn these things in a host of ways. You can participate in online groups, read books, but not just reading them now. Before you were reading them, now you're studying them. You're trying to assimilate the knowledge and you're practicing skills and you may even choose to take some classes. But right now in boot camp, you're just being deluged with info and you love it, you want to learn and sometimes you make mistakes and you know what, that's okay. Boot camp is where you can make mistakes, but you have to learn from them. I wish to reconsider my request to drop out, sir. You already signed your 1248, son. Major, I know it was wrong. I didn't learn from one mistake and I made another, sir. Is this your signature, Rico? Sir, yes it is, sir. Doesn't look like it to me. Carry on, Frank. Yes, sir. And after boot camp comes specialized training. This is where you take focused time to make sense of what you've learned at boot camp. Yes, you remember hearing about the inciting incident in boot camp, but here in specialized training for story, you learn what it is, how it works, where to use it, what you need to make it work, and why you need it. And you begin to integrate the knowledge that you've acquired into your own skill set. The knowledge you have now is not just regurgitated from what someone else has said. It's you being able to articulate it yourself, maybe even improve on it and say it better say it clearer. And now, once you've kind of learned these things, okay, now it's time to go to the battlefield of writing the script. Once you're equipped with the skills you need, now it's time to put them into action. Nice moves. Where'd you learn how to do that, soldier? Back in school, sir. Don't you remember? I was captain of the team. Rico. Sir. I need a corporal. You're it until you're dead, or till I find somebody better. Thank you, sir. You may have written things before, but now at this point, you have the skills and the abilities to actually write something you can do something with. So at this point, your focus should be on advancing in the craft. And just like soldiers or just like athletes, a few things happen at this stage. First, you're put in the game. I mean, like in the game, in the real world scenarios. You have to learn how to work the process of writing a script, but not just writing any script writing a good script. Secondly, you regularly should revisit the fundamentals. I mean, athletes go back to core basics 
all the time in practice. Soldiers spend time on the firing range all the time and in honing their skills and in practice drills. Riders should be revisiting and honing their fundamentals all the time as well. How to write a scene, how to arc a character, how to structure a story. But the difference is now, now, because you've had all this experience, now you can start to experiment. You know, what if we do X instead of Y? Or what if we just swap them? We can put X later. And your experience and revisiting of your fundamental skills is gonna help you get there. Because ultimately you are focusing on honing your process of how to write a screenplay. And not just any screenplay, a good one. Now you're integrating more tools of the craft into your own process. You experiment with other techniques. You use what works for you. You discard what doesn't. And now you are starting to understand not only what a good story looks like and how it works, but how you can create one yourself. And as you move forward, you begin to work through the process of writing a script. You generate ideas and decide on a good one. You plan your story, either by outlining or some other method of creation. You begin to script your story after you've done that, because you know you've got a solid story with your outline, so now I'm gonna start scripting it. And you move into storytelling here, because I've got my story, now I gotta, I gotta tell it. And then you start revising your script. You're making it sing, getting it up to snuff, and then you polish it, making all the little stuff just Right, and now, once you're here at the end, now you start submitting it, trying to sell it, trying to share it with the world. Rico, you once asked me for advice. You want some now? Yes, sir. Lieutenant, HQ's on the con. Never pass up a good thing. Watkins, <laughs> here. <laughs> But so many writers just want to jump straight to this part, writing a script and trying to sell it. But you have to go through the process. You can't skip ahead. In athletic terms, do you want to keep playing the rec league or do you want to go pro? In soldier terms, you might even think of it like, do you just want to play soldier or be a grunt? Or do you want to be a Navy SEAL or a special forces operator? I hope you're ready for more. We're going back to P to capture that brain. The roughnecks are always ready, sir. I hear they need a new lieutenant. Want the job? I'll take it. Until I get killed or you find someone better. This is the level you have to get to if you want to be a screenwriter. Now, can you just write for fun or shoot your own things for you and your friends? Well, absolutely, of course you can. But if you want to do this for real, you have to alter your mindset and look at this whole thing not as an event, but as a process. You are becoming a screenwriter. You don't suddenly arrive. We're the old men, Ace. This is for all you new people. I only have one rule. Everyone fights. fights. No one quits. If you don't do your job, I'll kill you myself. Do you get me? We got you, sir! Welcome to the Roughnecks. Red Stripes, Stripes Roughnecks. Roughnecks! Every professional screenwriter I know has not settled. None of them would say they've got the craft down. All of them talk about how they can get better and the things they need to learn to do better. And maybe what you have to learn has to do with writing for you. Maybe it doesn't because there's a lot of things that writers need to be good at. And if you want to know more about those things, you can watch this video right here. In the meantime, when you go to tell a story, be sure you tell a story that matters. See you later.